So would you like to use Stripe to receive the online payments? I'm going to show you how to do this in a very easy way. The very first thing you want to do is to click into the link that I'm going to leave you down below in the description. With that link, what you can do is to now sign up and create your very first account into Stripe. Now, Stripe is a fully integrated suite of financial payment product it can be helping you to accept online payments. So to use this actual element what you want to do is that if you don't have an actual online store you don't have for example shopify whatever you don't have to worry about that for this tutorial what i'm going to be doing here is to use google sites now google sites is an actual place where you can create websites totally for free but here this is just an actual scenario where i can actually create one product and i can start selling products so what i'm going to be doing here is to use stripe to make charges using google sites we have a lot of tutorials speaking about google sites if you want to know a little bit more about this element you have the link down below in the description so for this example here let's assume that i have here the about me section now first of all what i need to do is to understand the navigation of the dashboard in stripe so let's focus now into stripe for now Directly here into Stripe, once you create your account, you need to verify your account in order to have access to all of the elements using Stripe. So if you go directly here into the pod that says settings, go into your profile or just go into the banner that appears into the upper side so you can verify your account. So just add a detailed information about your business and you're actually good to go. Now, understanding here into the pod, we have the home section, we have the balances, the money we currently have, the transaction we have done through uh, the entire process, our customers and product catalog. So into the product catalog, if you once again don't have a store, what you can do is to create one product and charge directly into your Stripe. So what I'm going to be doing here is to add my very first product. So here have the name, description, the image, the current amount, the billing period, and more pricing options. So particularly for this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing here is to use exactly the same information about one product that we currently have into a Shopify store. So what I'm going to be doing here is just to copy this information and paste it directly into my product elements of Stripe. And here you can see that we have our very first product added there. So now what I can do is to, of course, create an actual link and of course add it into a let's say a video of instagram you can add it into a website that you created totally for free so let's say for example that i go back here into my store into my website which is totally for free once again i'm going to be creating a new element now i'm going to go for adding a beam code or a button so i'm going to just leave this as it is let's go here into the product catalog and choose the element that says payment linked. So here in the payment linked, I want to create a new payment linked. Here, I'm gonna choose the product we have just created a few seconds ago. So a product or subscription, the product should be this one. This is gonna be the charged quantity, let's say number one. Add another product, you can do this if you want to, and I can collect customer's address, I can collect the recurring customer, limited numbers of payments and whatever. So as you can see, this is a preview of what people should be checking out when they clicked here and to buy the product. So I go for create my link. And as you can see, here is my striped uh, link. So I copy this link, I go back into my store, I add the button, let's say buy now. I paste my link and I go for insert. So this link, I just need to put it a little bit down here and check it out. It actually works. Now I'm going to go for published and here, let's say they go for cool cats. And if this one is available, let's go for, I copy my link and I paste it here. I'm just going to make sure that it actually works this URL. So if somebody clicked here, where it says buy now, automatically should be redirecting them to the Stripe section to buy the product. So as you can see, it might be taking a few seconds to organize all the elements, but you can see here is these elements. So here's the info, the card, the title, and all of that. So really easy to use it. So if you wanted to integrate this now with a website that you already have, for example, Shopify, here into Shopify, you can go directly into settings. On into settings, what you can do is to choose payments or the actual online store that you're currently using and choose a third party provider, in this case is Trived. It's gonna be asking you just to sign in so you're now ready to charge uh, here. 
So that's the reason why when somebody clicked here inside the Shopify store and clicked into Add to Cart and make the payment, the checkout automatically sent them directly into Stripe so I can start receiving payments there. Depending on the country you're currently living, you might be having different elements there. Now, if you wanted to test payments, it's going to be really crucial that you can do both uh, scenarios here. But first, you need to go back here into Stripe. And here into Stripe, you want to focus into the upper side that says test mode. If I enable the test mode, we have now a scenarios where we actually won't be targeted with real money. So what we can do now is to do as much as you wanted to. And when somebody make a payment here, doing charges in here because we are now in test mode. And lastly, check out here the PCI compliance. So Stripe handles payment card information securely with PCI DWS compliance. So all the information to be secured when somebody make a payment using Stripe. And there are even a lot of information and applications that you can of course use to secure your store. And as you can see, we do have a lot of elements that we can use here into Stripe. But with that being said, guys, we have now learned how to use the drive to receive online payments for your businesses, guys. So uh, if you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Express for more tech tutorials. Thank you for watching. Hopefully we can all see you next time.